I think it's very important to come in together with our sister organisations, the LGFA and the Camogie Association, to carry out this survey. The games across the three organisations have never been more popular and I think it's incumbent upon us to actually dig, dig in and see what actual progress we're making with our coaching and games development. And I think from that survey we will challenge ourselves then to improve on the actual work that we're doing on the ground. Coaching is not just about the skills on the ball and then the slitter, it's also about developing resilience in the young people that we actually work with and a character formation. And I think it's key that we garner all this information and then move forward together with the other two organisations and produce a better product for our players. I think we've made a lot of progress and I think we're on the brink of making a huge step forward. I think the player pathway development report that was brought in by Michael Dempsey and Brian Cuppert, I think that document has given us a roadmap for the future of the organisation and I think it has put up a lot of challenges to us within our coaching and games department but I'm quite confident the people that are there and from looking at the work that's going on at the moment are up to dealing with those challenges and I think we will have a different landscape in our whole coaching area going forward. I think there'll be a shift somewhat away as I alluded to earlier from the actual the ball and the skill and, and it may be a little bit more emphasis on the actual personal development of the individual. Yeah, I, I saw a perfect example yesterday when my own young lad was kicking ball with his friend and his friend had to go home because he was going home for a video training session from the club and loads of those video training sessions are going on throughout the country with all our young players and I think it's keeping them active, keeping them in touch with their friends and probably helping them in their own mental and physical well-being. Absolutely, like I mean you know Good decision making will always be made on gathering information and data and I think gathering this information will allow us to make more informed and better informed decisions going forward.